Foxes are happy. And we're underway in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup with the favourites Westminster on the left, Shiplake on the right. Shiplake need a good start. They need to try to stay with them, then try to rattle them. That's the game plan. But are Westminster going to be rattled or do they have so much in the tank that they are quite happy to take on all covers and see them off? The moment Shiplake veering from their station. No warning just yet, but they are quite close. And still not necessarily closer to the or close to the station that they should be. But Westminster had the advantage. Shiplake need to stay with them. They are wary of this, they know what they can do. But Westminster still very much on hard on the power. Look at them go. Half a length. Is it going to grow to three quarters of a length as we talk and just watch in this stretch here? They're still going through the gear. Shiplake have started strongly, but Westminster are really turning it on. They've got a length almost, haven't they? Just about a length. They, Westminster does not want to make any mistakes. Clearly, they're the oldest rowing school in Britain, but have never won the PE. They want the triple crown. And now they have their length. And finally, Westminster stretching out, breathing deep, relaxing, and watching the race unfold. How many times do you think Westminster watched it? I know it's a rhetorical question, and some might say for pointless, but how many times did they watch that race last year? Because they lost, and they should have won. They were, they were the favourites, and they, everyone thought they've got it, but St Paul's did them. And so, and we've mentioned this quite a lot, they will have burned ever since, don't you think? This is the one race, the one weekend, where they want to be on Sunday, crossing that line, hearing that bell first. I'm sure they're reminded by all the alums going back to, I believe, 1832. All right, many of those alums aren't around anymore, but their spirits were attacking them every night. I doubt the crew need any reminding, did they really? They no. know. They wanted it last year. They felt they should have done it. They got beaten, and they are back. But let's set the record straight. Well, let's focus on this year. Again, first in the in the school's head, first in the national selection regard. So they are, and these they spend a lot of time on the water. Not only do they row, but they take the water taxi to practice. <laughs> so they do their homework on the Thames before they do their rowing work. Well, they've done the job so far, haven't they? And it's going to ask a lot from Shiplake for all the improvements that they've made under David Curry. It's their first Friday in 15 years, so that's an achievement in itself. The fact that they are very much in contention. They were one of the selected crews as well. Another yes. great fillet and uh, a feather in their cap as they start to try to make an impact in schools rowing. One of the smaller schools, they're nowhere near the size of Westminster or Eton, St Paul's. They know they've got work to do, but that's part of the thrill of the program that Dave, David Curry is trying to instigate there. You don't go from slow to fast instantly, especially in rowing. It takes a while to build the history, to build tradition, to build your your own stroke, your traditions. And Ship Lake's doing a fine job. Dave Curry very successful as part of the program at Abingdon and now trying to implement that at Ship Lake. And to be fair, the crew have stuck there. They are still in touch. They haven't been dropped. It's not gone two lengths, three lengths or so. They still stay there. Now, what have they got possibly for this mid-race section? Can they find something to take the fight once more to Westminster? Who, although they're in the box seats, they can see exactly the sort of challenge that Shiplake will mount. They can therefore control the race in a sense. Shiplake are still there. They've got the crowd with them, they've got the friends, family watching. Huge contingent will be there, the headmaster Greg Davis will be there as well, urging them on. Is this going to be a famous comeback? It's asking a lot, but they know they've been in contention earlier in the season. But they've got, this is Henley, this is where it really matters, this is where it counts. Westminster has such a great coaching tradition with Billy Mason just retiring a few years ago and Josh Butler at Kiwi is the head coach now. So as we see, this is the internationalization of rowing. Molsey has an Australian coach. There's multiple personalities, well, and nationalities in every boat. 
But Westminster will know their work. And that's what they're doing. Get open water and then just watch the competition. Nicely put. And that's exactly what they're doing. You're talking about a sellout crowd, you can see there. This is one of the great events. So many of the schools still in here, still in contention, so many of the club crews as well. Great tradition behind this Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. And you can see the Westminster boat name is Bill Mason. Proud tradition, and they're giving Billy the ride he wants. There'll be two more races after this. First instituted for public schools in 1946, then opened to entries from overseas in 1964. Sometimes you don't even need to talk, just watching the camera. Ship Lake still driving away, the stroke man talking to his coxswain. What do I need to do now? We're coming into the final 20 strokes. The crowd fully engaged. Westminster engaged. Shiplake straining every nerve, every sinew to get as close as possible. But Westminster's unbeaten record remains intact. They have bigger fish to fry, possibly, with Eaton likely to be their opponents tomorrow, Saturday at Henley. That will be some showdown the top two school crews in the country. But Westminster have come out on Friday and they've done the job as they wanted. And there is confirmation. It'll hurt for shipwreck, but it was just a length. Those who've got a coach, will be warm, those who haven't should surely have been warm by what they've just watched, because as the winds got up, the competition's risen as well.